riding down Highway 61 Sides of the roads all lined with fields Nothing but sunset in the windshield Feel it as soon as I ride into town This is where I go to slow What's up guys, Brad Chapel here, back with the Crappie Connection. I got my bud down the end, Todd Huckabee. Hey. Well, a lot of y'all know who this guy is. I don't care if you're a walleye fisherman or a red <laughs> fisherman, you know who this guy is. I've known you for, I don't know. A long time, Todd. Quite, quite a while. Yep. Um, and it, it, it's really cool. You know, we've done a couple of these already this morning and we're seeing a lot of people at this show yep. right now that have never been to one of these crappie events before and it's really awesome um edwin is here with optima batteries which is really mm -hmm. i love it as a crappie fisherman to see you know we just saw paul lice you're sitting there yeah. talking to sean him. grigsby's actually fishing the tournament which yeah. is super cool you know paul <laughs> yeah. he got eliminated and and i've got you know my main contact here at optima batteries wally olzak and uh it's uh, it's it, you know everything crappie fishing, bass fishing. They they're, they're right. all one and one. You know it's all, you know you guys really are the ones that are giving us bass fishing with so much success right now. Figuring out that whole active target and, <laughs> yeah. and using the turrets and and following those fish around. You know I think you guys kind of pioneered that for us bass fishermen and uh, we're really jumping on board with what you guys. I'm have. I'm, I'm really glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much true. Yep. yep. You know the, I've said it even like ten years ago before any live sonar if i got a bass fisherman in my boat they were lost even just looking at down scan mm -hmm. oh yeah um you know because you y'all are all used to throwing at a target as opposed to looking at your graph i mean most bass fishermen whatever graph they had most mm -hmm. was whatever came with the boat they never right. upgraded and now you've got to have it to play and absolutely I know I just walked down the booth uh, a little while ago and I seen a sign about some of the new batteries that you guys are coming out with and, and I definitely they're definitely going to strike interest into the crappie fishing world so kind of tell me what you got going on that's so we're new. coming out yeah we're coming I, I gotta out. say something about wally first though what's mm. super cool about wally is he is a bass fisherman oh, you know yeah. so many times when you deal with these companies like this you know and, and wally's been with optima for shoot 20 years almost uh -huh. he's a big time bass fisher most of the time when we have a conversation we talk bass fishing for like 30 right, minutes and then right. batteries for about 10 yes but we go do. ahead i just wanted to i wanted to give you a little yeah. bit there just so when you're talking people do know you are an actual bass yes. and crappie fisherman yes i am yes i am um we are coming out with well and they're they've just been released um an h6 and h7 battery and those are um the din size batteries new trucks have those batteries mm -hmm. um so from a towing aspect we have batteries now for the trucks mm -hmm. um, they also fit a lot of the newer vehicles that went to the din sizes and european size so we have <laughs> those batteries coming out now and you can come by the booth and see that um, as far as our marine offering um, it's been the same for quite a while it's what edwin runs um, and he runs a little bit of a different setup which i think is worth mentioning because it's pretty cool he runs two Blue Top 34s for his cranking battery to run his graphs and everything. I do. I'll play them set up here. Yeah, and not everybody knows that. I do that in my boat as mm -hmm. well, and I got that tip from you, Edwin. Um, it just gives you a little bit more, not a lot more weight, but it gives you a lot more voltage. Capacity. Yeah, yeah it gives you get me a lot more capacity. You know, with all the electronics, that, you know, we used to not ever have to do that, but, you know, with having four depth finders and mm -hmm. having the turret and having the power poles and all the things that we all have on our boat boats extra toys 
you need that extra capacity and, and mine knock on wood is flawless and has been you know since i've been to that system right it, it, I, like i said i probably two or three years on my boat i kind of did that same system and i was having an issue for the battery running out running grass and so i got suggested to do that and hey my boat's running flawless ever since with that i love it yeah and i will say i don't have active target yet no, what? And the more I talk to everybody here, <laughs> I might as well just be fishing blind. It's, it's crazy. Dark ages. We got a cane pole around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah that's me. Yeah. That's me. And I got new Lorentz graphs on the boat, but I just haven't got the active tar target yet. And well, we won't look down on you too much I'm, over I'm it. feeling terrible about it. <laughs> <laughs> you are the, the odd one on the table, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah. Here, here's the deal. is Once you get it, then I, I know guys who are like, you know, how'd you do today? Well, you know, my graph quit 30 minutes in, so we just put it on the trailer. And oh, yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, w once you have it and you see what you can see without it, you seriously feel like you're walking around with a, a walking stick, just <laughs> fishing blind, right. 100%. Edward, on, on, uh, I know I watch you on TV all the time. I'm a big fan of Major League Fishing and everything. Um, how much has everybody else in the field really grasped onto using the act of sonar? You know, I'd say a, a big majority of them have, you know, but here visiting with Paul, you know, he's just, he's a little bit behind, you know, mm -hmm. but but a lot of guys have really grasped it, you know, there's a lot of the tournaments, you know, I, I went in the Mississippi River, mm -hmm. what, two, three years ago, everything came, you know, on his forward looking sonar and, and, uh, I don't think you can compete. You know, obviously there's yeah. events you can compete, you right. know, when they're on the bank or they're in grass or, or, you know, you'll still catch fish with that technology in those situations, but not all all your fish are coming that way. It's probably changed a lot of the offshore bite more than anything else, I Without would imagine. Without a doubt. Yeah. Without yeah. a doubt. I, I had an event earlier this year at Champlain, and it was the first time I actually had a, uh, I had a, a, a piece of equipment on my boat that I could operate the active target separately from my trolling motor. You mm -hmm. guys have had that forever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, new to me. Right. New to me. It was unbelievable. I just anchor mode right there, and I'd just, I'd wait. I'd wait, and then I'd see one, and I'd cast. And then, like, I'd reel that fish in, and, and I'd, and I'd cast and I had like three, four other competitors around me and I was smoking them because I was the only one that had that, you know, mm -hmm. is, is the uh, right height active, you know, the, the turret that they had. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you know, what you guys use, but for me, it was incredible. Like just game changing technology well, to have that. What have yeah. you seen that you didn't know about beforehand? Have you learned anything with using it that oh. you didn't know before? In that event, I went to reel in a topwater really, really quick to make another cast, and as it gets 10 feet from <laughs> my boat, I see a fish streak yeah. 15 foot from the bottom. From the bottom, so I stopped, twitched it twice more, and a three and a half pound largemouth ate it mm -hmm. with 10 feet of line out that I would have never have seen had it not been for that forward looking right. sonar or that, you know, that turret that was on my boat. Um, I, I'm blown away by how many fish we spook with our boats mm. you know it's like same thing with crappie parting the red sea oh, at really? times you know driving down through there or, or how many fish actually look at your bait or, or won't even look at your bait they won't pay you any attention but you know they're a bass you know at certain times and the mood changes and you'll start catching some fish mm -hmm. but pretty cool stuff have, have you been amazed by how far away a fish can see a bait unbelievable or feel a bait yeah yeah, yeah. i mean to to me that that's mm, just mind-boggling mm -hmm. you fall a you know how muddy we mm -hmm. are normally um it it amazes me that a fish can be say 20 foot deep on you follow in that muddy of water and when a bait gets within six feet of him he's already looking mm -hmm. it has to be all that lateral line i, I guess how they i don't know yeah. it's it's impressive the thing what got me was how spooky they are i know you said the same oh, thing man. And, and last year I was really digging into it and um, Ross Barnett's my home lake and standing timber middle of summertime slick calm and I could not get 20 feet from fish on standing timber and they would just leave and I'm like I don't yeah. know how people ever caught fish beforehand because I mean they're like so spooky <laughs> I, know. I mean you can drop something on a boat uh, Todd and I have talked about it a bunch in the past but you can drop something literally on the deck of the boat and they're like Doom, gone mm -hmm. yeah uh, the, the one that I see the most that still blows my mind is when your aerators and your live wheel come on mm -hmm. if you're if you're on a fish and you're getting ready to catch that fish and your aerators kick on that fish will turn and look and it's gone yep 
Uh, he's got to keep them on constant. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's why we have those two batteries in the boat. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't put them on, on, on timer. you got to keep them on constant. Like yeah. my boat right now, I'm running six batteries. Oh, wow. I've yeah. got one just dedicated for my, my Garmin up front, nothing else. Two for my cranking and my regular electronics, and then three for my trolling motor. Trolling motor. Yeah. yeah. So it's one of six batteries on my yeah. boat. I got five. <laughs> yeah. Never heard of six. You yeah. got me beat. Well, <laughs> I'm sure Port Campbell's got me beat as well. But. <laughs> hey, there, there's still some guys out here now that have five or six and a generator. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. A generator, really? Yep. yep. With the, these guys that are chasing these crappie with their trolling motor on high. Yeah. They'll have a generator so that they can charge their batteries. I used to have a generator on my boat. You know, sight fishing events or current events, I just let it run all day in the back of the boat. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a lot of guys that do it because on some of these lakes, I don't, I don't even know how to begin to explain how many miles they go on a trolling motor on high. One just, fish. Just scanning. Yeah. yeah. And then when they find one, that fish leaves. I mean, the chase I've, is on. I've, I've chased them from <laughs> here to the other end of this building and back before <laughs> before that fish stops. Because if you do that and then he stops, you can catch him. Yeah. Well, it's, it's really bad when you do that and you spend like 45 minutes on one fish and, and the client misses it and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wasting all this How upset time. are you guys when it's a bass? Well, I'm actually happy. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like, in, 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 in any, anything but a gar. Because a gar, a big gar, looks Strike exactly bass. like a crappie because mm -hmm. when he's going away from you and you see this he looks like a crappie ah. yeah. and then you chase him chase him chase him and then he finally stops and he turns sideways and he's about that long on your screen and you're like dang gar yeah yep. what about crappie fishing kind of tell us about do you go out crappie fishing oh, yeah, I, I do some not a lot not as much as i'd like to but no mm -hmm. it is so much easier with that active target yeah. and forward looking sonar to uh, crappie fish it I, I can see why you guys love it so much mm -hmm. um and the following that you have with it it's just it's incredible well we're glad you definitely come on board and you know seeing Optima batteries here. That was a big feather, and you guys had coming on board and you know supporting the crappie industry. And you know we're trying to grow, and you know you guys are definitely our big brother. We're kind of looking up to you guys, and we're wanting to follow you and get this sport to to the almost to the bass level. I don't know hey, if we we'll ever get there. Hey, you guys got a hundred thousand dollars at this event yeah. in the first place. They're, 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 you're there. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, this is your third year doing it, so it's a it's a really really neat event. Lots of Lots of cool stuff here. I've enjoyed walking around, looking around. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not just the purse. I mean, look mm -hmm. around. This place yeah. is set up awesome. The, yeah. the vendor sponsor dinner he had last night. Oh, yeah, we had a blast. It was awesome. Yeah, I would say that Wally and his team have done a great job yeah. with this yeah. event. And I travel all over going to these things. And yeah. this is first class for sure. Yeah, if you want to make plans next year, attend, you know, it's like these guys are saying, you might see even the bad side of folks. They're coming on board and, and being here as well and supporting it and but it, you know we had a ball we have a ball every year when we come one way or other at least at least todd and i do I mean. <laughs> well the great thing to see here is it's not just crappie fishermen yeah it's fishermen yep we yep. all share the same passion yep and everybody can talk about what they do but at the end of the day we're all fishermen and we're all together here you know that's, doing what we love that's like bass fishing i i don't know honestly the last time i went bass fishing but i love watching it on tv and my wife even asked me, why are you watching bass? You don't even own a bass rod. And honestly, God, I don't. But I love watching it on TV. And, you know, it's just so exciting. And like I said, it's a big fan right here of you. But it's cool to watch. You know, any kind of fishing, it strikes everybody's attention, I believe. It yep. does. I mean, and, and the similarities between them. But, yeah. I mean, fishing this crappie tournament, what really has opened my eyes, you know, I didn't get to fish this one, but just talking to the people that I've talked to and the friends I have back home that do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're catching two and a half, two and three quarter pound crappie, three pound crappie. Mm -hmm. Just that's mind boggling to me. You know, I, I don't catch those when I go. I catch oh, like yeah. pounders if it's a big one, you know, if it weighs a pound, you know, and uh, it's it's just how you guys approach it. It's a it's a really, really cool concept and, and how it happens. Right. It's changed so much in the last couple of years that it's, you know, the sky's the limit. And when it's, it's, it's definitely getting there and, you know, we want to bring some of you bass guys over here and, and, uh, take you to the dark side and it, it was interesting. switch you over. It, it, Paul, you know, talking to Paul Elias this morning, uh, you know, a great bass angler mm -hmm. for, for many, many years, mm -hmm. you know, set the all-time record, weight record in bass. He's like, man, these guys are real over here, you know. I got, <laughs> I got a ways to go to catch up with some mm -hmm. of these crappie guys. So it was, it, it was a neat compliment for you guys, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. 
Well, we appreciate y'all's time. Everybody that sees this, be sure and go in the comments and tell us about the success you've had with Optima batteries. You know, I run them and I do it for a hey, living. Um, let us know what y'all think. Until next time, Brian Chapel, Todd Huckabee. Andrew Nevers. Wally Olzak. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, guys. It was All a lot right, of fun. Thanks. thanks, guys. Holla. Right a mile from Big Muddy River, place I'll always remember. Cabin on the lake and a fishing pole. Forever here, I'll rest my soul. I can feel my words.